Hi guys, I'm Celine, Survival Goddess, and today I want to share with you the four ancient maritime knots for survival. The second knot you should know is called the clove hitch. The clove hitch ties the rope to an object. A few clove hitch uses include starting and finishing shelter lashings, the Egyptian bow drill fire method, uh, constructing a French windlass, setting up rain tarps, and much more. Now there are two different ways that you can make the clove hitch, on the end or on the bite. So here's how to tie a clove hitch on the end. Start with your rope like this, carry it over, and pull it through, tighten it up, and there you have a clove hitch. This is how you tie a clove hitch on the bite. Start with two loops, it should look like this, overlap them. Then you could put your spindle through, tighten it up, and there you have it. I'll demonstrate how to make the clove hitch on the end. You take your rope, wrap it around an object like this, wrap it over, and Pull it back through, tighten it up, and you have a clove hitch on the end. Here's how to make the clove hitch on the bite. Start out with a loop like this. Make another loop just like it. Overlap them, put your object through, tighten it up, and you have a clove hitch on the bite. It's essentially the same as the clove hitch on the end, just a different way of doing it that I think is easier for Bodro fire spindles. Practice making these knots in your outdoor projects or when you're camping or relaxing at home. Don't wait until your life depends on these knots to know how to use them. They're very useful and they might end up saving your life or someone else's someday. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button and subscribe to stay tuned and I'll see you next time.